So this video is going to be all about creating vintage, specifically 1930s, uh, hairstyles. Let's discuss. Hello and welcome to the Deco Minimalist. My name is Carrie and I create content about uh, 1930s fashion, vintage style, and glamour on a budget. Let me just stop babbling and well, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have uh, the wet set. Uh, I start with wet hair, usually after like a shower where you can wet it with uh, just water and a spray bottle. Here I am putting on um, setting lotion. This is, I believe it's um, Lotta Body lotion mixed with some water. And then just kind of brushing it through. This is the wave sculpting brush from uh, Lauren Reynolds. I'll link all the products that I can find that I've used here, I'll link below. And But yeah, I like this brush a lot. I've actually been using it more than my, not more than my normal brush, just because I think it, it continues to give a nice wave uh, to the hair even long after the wet set has uh, sort of faded, so to speak. And yeah, just brushing it out. And then I'm taking a combination of these uh, self-grip rollers. The pink ones are, I think, medium. And then, or I think the pink ones are small, and then the yellow ones are the mini self-grip rollers. Um, I only recently started using these, and my hair dries a whole lot faster than it would using sort of solid foam rollers or um, like snap and go rollers. So, but I've since found, since filming this, I've since switched over to only using the mini yellow um, self grip rollers because I think, especially with shorter hair, they give a much uh, tighter roll, obviously, or tighter, or tighter curl, which I think is more conducive to the 30s style. So, anyway, rolling it all rolling it all, uh, and here my general sort of setting pattern is um, the top row of rollers, you curl it um, kind of down a, a sort of away, or if you, were, if you will, think of it either away from your scalp um, or um, counterclockwise, if that helps, and then with the next row of rollers underneath that, you curl it towards your scalp or counterclockwise. So for me, it helps to think of it as towards and away from the scalp, but you know, whatever works for you. And then I use bobby pins here for, um, to get those little short bits of hair that the rollers can't quite reach. So this is a little sloppy just because I was using uh, the, the camera viewfinder as a mirror and couldn't entirely see, but anyway, so I will sleep on that, and then this is the next morning. Um, just taking out the bobby pins, taking out all of the rollers. They tend to get stuck a little bit. Yeah, just kind of fluffing it out. And then this is a mini uh, Pearson brush, and it helps to just kind of break through, sort of help shape the curls. I know a lot of people in the vintage hairstyling community use the Denman brush, and that works quite well also. And then I go over it again with the curl sculpting brush. And then I use, uh, well, I also use pomade here, it, it needs to be said, so, you know. Just to kind of help smooth out some of the flyaways and then I'll use these kind of duckbill clips these are also I got on Lauren Reynolds uh, website and then intersperse that with these duck with like the, the duckbill clip clips and then the, you can see it's kind of about pinching that wave or like where you see the wave start to form into the S shape and then sort of pinching it to hold it in place and to give 
these clips give it more of a defined um, edge, so to speak. And then I, I like to also put them at the back of the head just to give a little bit of structure in the back. And then I'll spray it with hairspray and then, you know, get dressed, whatever, have breakfast, do whatever. And then later, maybe half an hour to an hour later, I'll uh, come and take these clips out. And then in this case, I go over it with a smoothing brush just to kind of give it a little more shape. And then I, can, I also use about bobby pins to, again, sort of help keep that structure a little bit. And yeah, this is the final look for a typical uh, wet set for, for me on my hair type. to the Mervyn wave clips. So basically the, it starts the same as the wet set with the foam rollers, um, wet hair with the setting lotion kind of combed through. And then I'll take these Mervyn wave clips and I like to start with one on the heavy side of the part, just right at the scalp, and then just kind of intersperse them across the heavy side of the part, which is where I tend to focus because it's the most prominent part of the hair style. And then one on the lighter side. And then I clip the bottom ones, especially because these are heavy and they will tend to shift uh, overnight. And these are, I don't wear these super often because they are very uncomfortable uh, to sleep in. Um, the hardest part for me, I'm still learning how to work with these, is how to style the remaining sections of hair um, with the clips and all of that. So you can see that I'm just using the mini rollers and I'm just curling them away from my scalp as opposed to doing the alternating curve pattern. And yeah, the uh, Closet Historian has, I think, one of the original videos about using wave clips, with, or Mervyn wave clips specifically, which is how I discovered them and have been hunting for them ever since. So yeah, I will link that of course, and then yeah, get, getting the hair ready under my cap. And then in the morning here, taking all of the rollers out, taking the clips out. And what I think is, and then I will, and then I'll you know, hair, do hairspray and then also run the uh, smoothing comb lightly over the, the ridges and um, yeah, just give it some more hairspray. And again, I like to use the clips also because it will just help it be a little more defined. And what I like about um, just sort of comparing the two styles, even though one, they are both technically wet sets, um, you can see that it gives a very different look. Um, that seems to me very reminiscent of, you know, I mean, obviously it's reminiscent of the time because this is for these, <laughs> the clips are literally from, uh, you know, the mid century. So it does give a look that I think would, um, that you would see in period photographs or, you know, high quality repro uh, production pieces like Downton Abbey or um, shows like that. So yeah, so it's a style that I like and yeah, I hope uh, it just gives a different look. So I hope you can, I hope that's useful. All right, well, before we um, end here, I just wanted to show you how I store all of my um, hair styling products because one of the things that I kind of struggled with when I was getting back into uh, vintage hair styling was um, you sort of <laughs> have to use oftentimes all these little like bits and bobs and um, if you don't have a lot of like drawer storage space, like, like is my situation, um, I was kind of struggling with where to put it all and how to access it easily. So I ended up getting this little kind of um, acrylic uh, drawer, mini drawer situation. And I really love it. It really cleared up a lot of my um, counter space or like tabletop space. And yeah, um, this is just kind of what I have. Uh, makeup in the bottom drawer, uh, my Mervyn wave clips. And I have my, the mini rollers here and then the clips pomade and then the hair wraps that I have. Um, yeah, and it's very light, very portable. I can access everything that I need 
And um, yeah, I just thought I would throw that in there because once you start getting into vintage hairstyling, you can acquire a lot of stuff um, and it can be challenging to know where to put it all. So this has been my solution. I've been very happy with it. And uh, yeah, onward. <laughs>